Welcome back. This is the Entrepreneur Spotlight, and today I have with us a very interesting guest from Alcazar Rosaline Concept. I'm talking about Chemeke E. Judith. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Spotlight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Now, I would like to start with, on a very curious note. What is the ARC Concept? What is it all about? Okay. Well, uh, Kaiser Rosling Concept is uh, a company that is here to promote affordable and sustainable practices across three major industries, um, the real, real estate industry, the agricultural industry, and also the energy industry. We're here to revolutionize here to yeah. change, you know, um, some of the practices and some of the innovations that are no longer working for us. Yes. So what are some of these practices you're talking about? Uh, number one is building practices. We have um, a major concern in terms of having access to affordable housing systems here in Nigeria. A lot of youths don't have that access to affordable housing systems. So we are here to promote those affordable practices and sustainable practices that will allow youths like me and you to have um, a sense of home ownership. Yeah. Interesting. So you mentioned yeah. agriculture real estate and the energy yes do you want do you like to elaborate on the other um functions? okay yes these are our goals these are the goals that we want to achieve but you have to start from somewhere and where we are starting from is the real estate industry we're trying to promote those practices there first but you also have a lot of nigerians um complaining about the high cost of living now a lot of things the price of food in the market mm -hmm. is ridiculous so we are taking nigerians back to the basics right teaching them how to plant their own food mm -hmm. so when we to, um, provide this affordable housing system for them. We are also going to provide, you know, mechanisms, techniques for them to produce their own food in their own house. Yes. Interesting. It's good yeah. you mentioned inflation because, uh, you know, prior to this, we were discussing the new minimum wage of yeah, exactly. 70,000 Naira and you were about to go on a rant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now the minimum wage has been approved. I mean, it's a good uh, development. Exactly. But I mean, seeing the rate of inflation and the prices of uh, 70,000 Naira cannot really go far, especially for families with multiple children. children. Yes. So what is your advice in terms of affordable housing, like you said, for a young uh, person in their 20s, in their 30s, they're just starting life at 70,000 Naira salary yeah. that wants to own a home. Mm -hmm. So at Art Concepts, what can you tailor? <laughs> What advice do you all oh, just say? Don't forget about it. You can never. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, this so, question. Yeah. So, like, what what would you be, what would be your advice for such a person? Okay. First of all, I'll start with. I think you were asking for two hundred thousand. There are about I'm not really sure. Two hundred and fifty. Yes. yes, and at least it's that's increased from the thirty five yeah. or thirty thousand to seventy. That's an increase, but it's not necessarily what the people want. Do you know that as a Nigerian youth, even if you're earning three hundred thousand per month and you're saving 100,000, right? You cannot afford, you cannot still be able to afford a house. Even rent is something. Even rent. And you also have, you have to deal with a lot of things, yeah. your landlord and lack of privacy and all of those things. Yeah. But I think you're trying to ask if this, uh, the 70K can, you know, yeah, give something yeah. for affordable housing. Is there any plan of hope Unless, for someone on 70K to own a house? Ah, honestly. <laughs> Don't lie. Honestly, <laughs> no, because you have to think of about the right. you know, cost of right. building. So no, we're, of I'm, I'm happy we're hearing it directly from no. someone, in, a professional in the real estate industry. Yes. And you're telling us point blank, 70K per month cannot get you anywhere close to owning property. Uh -huh. Even an, even an empty land, if no, you think about no. it. Even to buy yeah, a, a land, yeah. so, it's impossible. Uh, which brings me to, to my next question now. I'm, I mean, uh, checking out the website and your social media pages yeah. i saw a lot of um information about mobile homes portable homes and all yeah. of that and that was actually where my mind was going because i was like someone with 70k should be able to <laughs> <I thought. laughs> well, so depends. yes I would, I would like it to throw more light on the mobile homes aspect okay and then seeing as nigerians like to have like luxury yeah. and then space so uh, how would you pitch 
the mobile home idea to uh, the average Nigerian that it intends to purchase? Okay, so um, tiny homes in general is not just about mobile homes. There are several types of tiny homes and affordable housing systems, right? Now, um, how can we pitch it to Nigerians? For instance, we are already we have a partnership with One Square Meter by Dantata to promote this affordable housing systems, and it's already ongoing now at Jadi, right? So this is something that Nigerians can key into. And yes, Nigerians, we have this luxury mm -hmm. lifestyle, but there is a market. There is a market for these affordable and sustainable housing systems, mm -hmm. and it resonates with we the youths. Like, for instance, I'm a woman. I would definitely get married and move to my husband's house. But I'm looking for a place to just start small and start well. Privacy, have that sense of ownership, right? I don't necessarily need a five-bedroom, a four-bedroom, ten-bedroom. Yeah. I don't need that. I just need something small that, that could complex. accommodate me, yes. Right. And in sense of how are we going to achieve it, you know, the space, storage, and all of those things, that's why we're going to work. We are currently working with industry um, delegates like minds to develop all this um, system, storage spaces, mm. multifunctional furniture pieces, you know, to just accommodate and give us a sense of ownership and to also reduce your environmental footprint in Nigeria. Wow, yes. interesting. So that also links up with the energy aspect. Exactly. Well. Everything. That's interesting. Yes. Interesting. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Chemike Judy. Chemike Judy. Right. So uh, finally, your contact information for those that will need more, um, to know more about the ACK concept. Okay. So uh, we're on Instagram, A Rosaline um, Concept. You can also reach us uh, via uh, our number, 09074852004. And we'll be ready, you know, to answer any questions, partner with you in any other um, development that you might have or want to partner with us. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much, Judith. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing more of you to discuss, you know, Thank real you. estate is a very important topic, especially exactly. here on the spotlight. So exactly. looking forward to see more of you on subsequent episodes. Thank you. Yeah, so there you have it, people. It's a wrap on the weekend show. I'm sure you had fun on the program today. Be sure to tune in next week. Same time, same channel for more on lifestyle, politics, the entrepreneur spotlight, sports, entertainment, and social media trends. I'm Tanda Chimelu signing out, reminding you it's the peak of the rainy season, so stay warm, stay in the shelter. Have a good weekend. See you next week.